Worried how you're gonna be able to stay sane during this COVID-19 pandemic? My name's Zoggy, stay tuned, and I am gonna show you some exercises you can do at home. Well, good morning, what's up people? How are we all doing with this pandemic that's going on at the moment? So my name's Oggy. So my name's Oggy. I am. I was. Um, I'm a personal trainer in the UK, and I am a big advocate of doing exercise at home or in the park when you can't go to the gym. Currently, the situation in the UK is all gyms are shut, and therefore. I thought I'd just post a few simple videos that everybody can do at home without any equipment or minimal equipment or just stuff that you've already got in the house. So stay tuned and let's get to it. So first off what we should always do is warm up depending on your ability. Okay, just standing on the spot getting the blood going, getting the heart pumping, getting the heart rate up. That's what we always should do. Now, if you are of a higher ability and you can, it doesn't matter if you can, this is good enough, but if you can, just, just jog on the spot. Just gentle jogging. That's all you need. That's all you need. Just a quick warm up. Whoa. Start getting my heart rate up, start feeling that. Now it feels good, it feels good. It feels good. Keep going, keep going. If you're doing it like that, do it like that. It doesn't matter, just keep going. And do that there, and then we're just going to step side to side. Step side to side. Good, that's all you need. And if you can, a bit more advanced, you can do it like that. Whew. Yeah, I can feel that. It's a little bit chilly this morning. But it's great. It's great. Nice sunny day. Despite everything that's going on, let's keep going. Keep keep active as much as you can. As much as you can. For those of you working at home, you don't need to do it. Ten minutes at a time. That's to do. You can go a little bit faster if you like. Whatever your ability. Just keep going. And then we can step forward. Forward lunges, if you can't go that far, just do a little bit, just do a little bit. If you can go full way forward, then go all the way forward. You can throw your arms up, yeah. So that, working the shoulders, getting the shoulders mobile, getting the blood pumping around the mobile, and around the shoulders. This video isn't going to be pretty, or anything like that. I'm not great at editing yet, still learning, but you can do it. Okay, let's just jog him on the spot again. Or step in. Just want to help you get through this. We don't know how long it's going to last, but it will end at some stage. And then we're just going to do squats to the side, squats to the side, squats to the side. Go down as far as you can. Don't need to see even that. Even that, getting those leg muscles working, getting the bum, getting the bum working, getting the knees working, getting the blood pumping around the body. That's it. Well done. Keep going. Keep going. If you can't go down, then just go down. Whatever your ability, all exercise is good. All movement is good. Good. So get really getting warmed up now. Good. That's it. Keep going. You can do it. You can do it. And jog on the spot or walking on the spot again. Good. And now we're going to just bring the shoulders up. Working the shoulders. Just as I'm stepping there, just small circles to start off with. That's all you need. Small circles. Good. Keep going. And back the other way. Good, and make them bigger. Just make them bigger. Getting the shoulders mobilised. Getting the shoulders mobilised. That's good. That's good. Keep going. Out to the front. Out to the side. Out to the front. Out to the side. Out 
to the side, out to the front, out to the side. Good. Now we can work up, reaching up. If you can, jog. Okay. But if not, then just stand. Do it alternately. There's many ways you can do this. Up, up. Keep going. Come on. Up, up, up. Let me put your knees down. There's a squat down if you can. Or just bend down. Just bend down. Just bend down. Good. And jump on the spot there. Or just stand in there. Just moving your legs. Just keep going. Keep going. Woo! Start to warm up now. Start to warm up. It's good. Uh, good. Shake the legs out. Shake the legs out. That's it. Good. Keep moving. And we're just going to move the hips around, get the hips mobilised. Just all big circles. Getting those hips mobilised. That's it. Back the other way. Back the other way. That's it. Come on. We're just warming up still. Just warming up still before we get into the main exercises. Good. And back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Good. That's it. Back and forth. Side to side. Okay. And you might feel a little bit in your groin as you're going side to side, which is good. You've got muscles down the side here. Muscles inside all helping to work your legs. Good. And as you get older, or if you're not so mobile, this is great to start with. Great exercises for beginners. Okay. So we're just going to stretch out the back. We're just going to really reach out the back. Good. And stretch out and back the other way. Good. Good. And really for and reach forward and stretching out this. Back again. Good. That's it. And to the side. And just stretching out your chest. My arms are in the side in the lower back. I'm just trying to force my elbows together. Okay, and relax there. As you shake out the arms, good stuff. How are we feeling? Feeling good? It makes you feel better. Exercise is proven facts. I'm not a doctor, but it's a proven fact that exercise makes you feel better. It gets you endorphins, which is a feel good hormone that we've all got. Okay, we've all got it in our bodies. Is the feel-good hormone okay and as you exercise you get a rush of feeling through your body the hormones through your body and it just makes you feel better especially on a lovely sunny day like this a bit chilly even though we're going through what we're going through all around the world okay we can get through this all right I don't want to help you get through this so let's go for it So, another thing that um, you all need to help you get through this is good nutrition. And when you're exercising, you need water, okay? Um, you, you do need lots of fluids inside you. It will help your general health as well. So, what I suggest is you have a water bottle. I got mine here, okay? But another good important thing, uh, some advice, is nutrition. You need to keep your immune system up. All right, um, we're now getting into spring in the Northern Hemisphere, so we've got a lot more sunlight. So therefore, we've got the opportunity to get a lot more vitamin D. But nutri any nutrition, good nutrition, okay, is going to be good for you and help to boost your immune system and hopefully fight off this horrible virus. So I've had my water. Oh, good, I need that. Right, so now we're going to get into uh, the main body of exercise. First off, we're going to do work the upper body. We're going to do work the chest and the back. Okay, so I'm outside. I'm on a um, paving slabs. So I want to protect my knees, so what I'm going to do is a bag. OK, 
okay if you need to just need to adjust the thing so you can see me I'm on the floor just gonna do some press-ups on my knees all right if you're a complete beginner okay put your knees on the floor arms about shoulder width apart okay and go down and up down and up down and up work in the chest work in the shoulders work in the triceps if you've got more ability go off the floor and go all the way down and all the way up Woo! feeling that feeling that oh also very good for the core okay good got our press up i'm gonna have a bit of a rest for about 30 seconds all exercise is good all movement is good okay and this is what you should make sure you do recommendations certainly uh around the UK is for 30 minutes of exercise per day. It doesn't need to be this kind of exercise, it could be just walking, walking at a reasonable pace. Okay. Okay, let's go for our second set. We're gonna go for 12. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, Five, six, I'm going to off my knees now, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Well done. How was that? How are you feeling? Starting to feel that now? I'm starting to feel that. I'm starting to feel that. And I'm quite fit. Okay, let's go again. Another set, final set. One. Two, three, we're going to do 12, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Whatever your ability, whatever your ability. Don't worry about anyone else. Don't try and compare yourself with anyone else. It's your ability that counts. Okay, so what we do is we have about about a 45 to 60 second rest in between. That's what you need, that's what you should do. Okay, if that's, if you can't do that, if you need more, then do more. If you need less, do less. It depends on the exercises. All right, so I'm going to do a final set of those press ups. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You see what I did there? Okay, I lifted my knees up mid exercise, and then as I started to get a little bit tired, put them back down again. It doesn't matter. This is a chest exercise, it's a chest and shoulders and triceps exercise. Okay, really, really good. A fantastic body weight exercise. Okay, it's good. So, we're just going to work out the back. Then, having a little sip of water. So, I said little equipment. What I'm going to use for my back exercise is something like a paint can. All right, that's all you need. Okay, this weighs probably about 10 pounds or around about four, five kilograms maybe. So what you need, knees slightly bent, grab hold of one hand. I've got a handle on here. Just grab hold of the handle, looking up. Nice straight back and just go up one. Two, three, four, 
five and tighten your core. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I'm going to swap sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. Relatively lightweight. It might be, it is for me, it might not be for you. It doesn't matter. The fact is, is that you're working your back muscles. There are a whole bunch of them, back, um, the back muscles that are work there. Okay. Plus, when you're now working our back, we're working our biceps. And that's that one there. That's that muscle there. All right. We're working our, we're working our shoulders as well. Our rear, our rear shoulder, shoulder at the back. All right. How are we feeling? Ready to go for another set? Let's do it. How are we doing? How are we doing? So need a drink? If you need a drink? Grab a drink. I think this is all, this whole thing has taken us a bit by surprise. And what's the most worrying thing about it is that nobody truly knows how long it's going to go on for. In the UK, we're not currently on total lockdown. Who knows what's going to happen this week? I suspect it depends on how many cases we're going to get. Nowhere near as bad as Italy, uh, thankfully, but allegedly we are about two weeks behind them. It's tragic what's happening over there. Let's hope it doesn't happen anywhere. Okay, let's do another set. Hold your core in as well. 11, 12, good. One, two, three, four, five. Slow it down. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm starting to feel that. It's really working my back. Okay. One of the things, certainly as you get older, especially if you've been, you work at a desk, slouching over the desk, we tend to lean forward and a good way of trying to bring your shoulders back and not to have, um, to have rounded shoulders is to do strength, a strong back, okay? A strong back will help strengthen the back muscles to help pull, um, pull the back muscles and uh, stop your shoulders from rounding. Okay, how are we doing? If you need another drink, grab another drink. Let's do the final set. Three, three. You can even do it two-handed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Good. Yeah, I mean, if you need to, if you can't do something like that one-handed, do it two-handed. You're getting just as well, just a good exercise, good workout on the back. I could certainly feel that. One thing to be careful of is your lower back. If you've got prone problems with your lower back, and certainly be aware of whenever you're bending over. Okay. So we've worked two main muscle groups, the back and the chest. 
this time we're going to work the legs okay so there's a, a fantastic exercise that you can do we did a little bit in the warm-up with uh, working the legs very important for just for daily activity getting out of the chair all right um, I strongly encourage you to do this okay it is a fantastic exercise all right which I'm going to demonstrate now so squat Let's move that big can out of the way. Squat. You're literally going to put your arms where you're comfortable, there, on your chest, wherever's good for you. Right? And you're literally going to go squat down. If you can only go that far, go that far. If you can go further, then go further. Okay? And I want you to do 12 of those. Go. One, two, three. Four. Breathe out on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Do not hold your breath when you're doing any exercise. If you can only go down that way, just go down that far. It doesn't matter. You're still working those muscles. You're working your glutes, your bum. You're working your hamstrings. You're working your quads when you come up. Good. And shake those legs out. If you need to, grab another drink. Oh, I need that. Certainly need that. Okay, good. How are we doing? Ready for another set? Please check with your doctor. If you haven't done exercise for a while, make sure you get a clearance from your doctor. Okay. Let's do another set. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Woo! And shake the legs out. That's it. Come on, you can do it. We're coming towards the end now. Just doing a few more exercises. Just to, it's anything is this is better than anything. I've got no special kit, no exercise kit, just using stuff that's going to be around the house. Every household has got it. If you haven't got a paint can or something like that, then find something else you can use. Okay, let's do another set of squats. Good. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Hold your core in. You must hold your core in. Good. How are we feeling? So, strengthen your muscles in your legs, even if you can't go all the way down. Just go as far down as you can do. Do what's good for you, right? Don't compare yourself to anyone else, right? But I urge you, just do something. Okay, how are we doing? Nearly there. So what we're gonna do now, arms, we're gonna do triceps. Okay, triceps at the back of your arm. I'm gonna do the biceps in front of the arm. Do biceps now. Right, I'm going to get my trusty can again. Right, so two ways you can do this: both hands, keep your elbows to your side. Okay, and just lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, so that, coming towards the end of the session now, so just working those biceps there, that's that big muscle there, in the front of your arm, okay, shake the arms out there, shake the arms out, how you doing, how we doing, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, feel a whole lot better, feel a whole lot better. Go for it again. Good. One, two, yes. 
starting to feel that. Very really starting to feel that in my arms. Okay. Uh, shake the arms out. Shake the arms out. One more now. Are you warm now? Good. Good. I'm going to do another set of those. Another set of those. Good. The final set this time. I've got a lighter can. All right, I'm just going to do one arm. Do one arm. Well, definitely feel as if I've had a good workout there on my own. So now we're just going to complete our session right, by doing some core exercises. All right. By core, I mean everything around the middle. It's not just your six pack. Now, everybody knows about sit ups. Okay, but I'm going to show you the basic plank. All right, so you just on my, I'm on my elbows, right, on my feet. Literally laying on the floor. Oh, off the floor. Okay, and hold it if you can for 15 seconds and just relax. Good, and up. Try and do it for 10 seconds. Good. And down, and up again for 10. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Whew. That's that's a good session. Doors now into my kitchen. It's just to prove you can do this anywhere. I'm going to do sit-ups. Okay, I don't want you bring your neck forward like that. All you want to do is just to lift up just a little bit if you can. Ooh. I certainly felt that, I'm sure you did too. Uh, there you go. I'm just going to do a bit of a warm dump now. We've worked, had an all over body workout. An all over body workout, so let's do a bit of a warm down now. Just stretch out the back again. Whew. Oh, I can feel that. Hopefully, you can too. Good. And stretch out the middle of the shoulders. And just put, put your arms back a little bit. Good. And stretch out the chest. Like we did before. Shake the legs out. Shake the arms out. And that's it. So, please continue to exercise. There will be more followed.